Oh god. Now we're adding fire. Look at that. I mean, that's adding pretty impressive. Fire. Do you notice something happening with the flame? I'm going to crank it up. Okay, we'll put it over here so you can see that it's not a wind effect. There's not much wind in here. Actually, it looks like there's a little bit, but if anything, it's going that way, right? So I'm going to come at it. <laughs> What's happening? Uh, it's going oh, towards the thingy. It's jumping. It's going towards the thingy. Yeah. What does that mean, you think? <laughs> Why is the flame going towards the thingy? It's moving towards. Why? Well, it's moving towards the thingy. Oh, the, um, the, the flame has ions in it, I think. Oh, there are ions. Yeah, there's ions. Oh, there's ions. Oh, there's ions. It's strong. It, it's What's being released when you get a spark? Um, oh, Electrons, right? So what do you think is moving through the air? Electrons. Electrons and ions. Yeah. Okay. So you see the movement of electrons and the ions. They actually create a wind. You can, you can feel it if you get close to it. You actually feel it in your hand. It's also producing lots of ozone. You know ozone if, 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 you, if any of you have younger siblings that you don't like, throw them towards the thing and they get sucked in. Mohammed is standing on a recycling bin and breaking it. Right now, um, he's which making him not grounded, which means electrons that are coming through his body are not escaping. And so uh, he's very dangerous because if he touches somebody when he moves his hand or someone touches him, they'll be shot. Um, the electrons are going from there to his hands. So they're attracted because He's neutral, and so the electrons in his body are moved to the opposite side, while the positive ones stay the way they are, so they're attracted to each other. And he's becoming more than more electrons right now. Okay, so the, from the from the belt, the electrons are being charged. The charge up then going into the first conductor where it's grounded. So from that wire, the, all the electrons are going into the second conductor, making the second conductor negatively charged and the first conductor positively charged. So when you put them closer, there's a spark coming from uh, the, f the second conductor. Uh, you might think it's the first, but it's second because it's grounded and this is negatively charged and it's positively charged. The electrons are moving up the belt and into the silver sphere, um, which is acting as a conductor. They're then moving along Michelle's body. Michelle is standing on a plastic trash bin, which is an insulated conductor because plastic doesn't conduct electricity. The electrons are negatively charged and making her hair rise up. Oh. What's in the wire? Yeah, 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 yeah. Latitude. Latitude. So that's how far, which way? North and south, right? So what do you notice? As time passes, does the, the lightning go farther north or farther south? Well, here. Farther north. Farther north. It kind of like scramble. What'd you do? Well, no, start at the very beginning. Okay. At the beginning. As you go towards the longer time, right? Does it go farther north or farther south? Farther north. 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 Farther north, right? Yeah. Because what's the slope of the line? Is it positive or negative? Positive. That's telling you that the storm is moving northward, okay? So you can actually track the storm by doing this plot. Do you think you have a couple of different storms in there? Yes. Can, I, can you identify them? Yep. Yep. And each and all of them move which direction? North. North to west. Okay. Well, no, not. The, do we know about east or west? No. All we have is time, right? So now what you should do is do the same thing, but now east or west to see who's moving east or west. Okay. So you can definitely track the storm movement by doing these simple plots. Okay. That breaks it up, right? Depending on what you have in that particular column, you can break it up into two things. Remember that. So you have to select that and then you use comma, right? And it'll break into two columns then. Two notes before? So Marina, what was the objective of last week's lab? The objective of la last week's lab was to um, look at a online uh, weather site listing uh, the different uh, high and low temperatures 
and we were able to see a correlation between both of them. And in relation to thermodynamics, we were able to see that if a, in a system, if, if work is done, temperature decreases. Um, in relation to question number 11 of the lab, um, the question asks if a uh, warm air parcel rises uh, and no heat is gained or lost, then uh, what would happen to the temperature? And I would say that the temperature would essentially go down because um, when work is done on a system, the temperature will decrease, and more temperature, um, if the parcel uh, gets bigger, more temperature would have to spread through uh, a greater area. And um, so what happens is, uh, when the temperature decreases, clouds are formed because of condensation and uh, the water vapor stores. The heat, the heat from the sun hits the ground, which heats up the air. It begins to rise and expand, and as it rises and expands, it becomes, it, um, does work and it becomes cold. So when the water vapor becomes cold, it starts to condense and it forms a cloud. I don't know. It showed that it didn't matter how much pollution we get occurs for the lightning, and then, and for, so we learned that it doesn't really matter in New York City, but then we realized that we should have done more research for more days, just in case there is a relationship between those two. PM 2.5. So part PM is particle matter, and 2.5 is the size of the particle matter. And um, the, on a 20, 20 uh, there's a company called National Ambient, they're not a company, but there is like a certain standard or a law called the National Ambient Air Quality Standard which means that for every 24 hours, the PM 2.5 has to be 35 micrograms per cubic meter and annually, which means yearly, on average has to be 15.0. And here we have four uh, map charts here that you can see where, light, where we can see a lightning strike. This is from our high school, BSEC 2, this is like cent this, which is like the central uh, area. Here you see that most lightning is usually spread out, but like the, the clutter of it happens in central Long Island. Here on um, April 6, 2009, it's the, more, the most clutter is in maybe parts, in like parts of New Jersey here and, the, and like a section of the Atlantic Ocean. This, this map right here on April 21st, 2009 happened around New York City and the middle of the Atlantic Ocean here. And on April 22nd, 2009, it happened mostly around like New York City here in this area. And based on that, we have our, we have now like a chart to show like our days, the total lightning counts, the peak locations, which is like where I showed you before where like the most of the lightning happened. Um, the PM 2.5 at MassPeth, which is uh, which is the um, where the lightning happened. And this is uh, the stats that we got. And this is like a basic idea of what was going on that day. So on the first day, 4309, there was low pressure where there was not really supposed to be a lot of lightning, even though there were 730 counts of lightning. On day two, 4609, there was high sea level, which meant wind, so I wasn't really sure if that affected the lightning or not. On 42109, there was also low pressure, and here is a significant difference between day three and day one, even though they're both low pressures. This is 635. And on day four, 42209, there's low pressure, a few lightning. And then it, it drops again by a significant number, making it four, 543 lightning counts. The pollution went up and the lightning went down, so it doesn't really comply with the experiment in Houston. So they're not really directly connect connected. So does that mean they're not related? No, they could possibly be related, but you need more data. So you have to look at the climate change and you need different locations. Because, and there's a district in Houston, and that was more of over, all over New York.